First on five, the increase in officer-involved crashes. One police department is spearheading the effort to prevent them from happening. Thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Dina Herrera Garza. And I'm Rudy Mireles. Mission PD hosting a two-day training. They hope will not only save the lives of officers valley-wide, but prevent other drivers from getting hurt. Channel 5's Deontay Marini joins us live from Mission, where the training was held. Deontay, Mission PD is spearheading the effort for a reason. Yes, they are. Mission PD had to step up after noticing uh, the increase in the officer involved crashes. Now we're told 26 crashes happened last year, 10 of which were the fault of the officers. Now this training is an effort to lower those numbers, not just here in Mission, but in the whole Rio Grande Valley. I blacked out for about 10 minutes. Then when I came back, uh, I just see a lot of people around me and uh, people have trying to help me out. Mission police officer Artemio Garcia remembers the day he was involved in an accident while on duty. It happened three years ago. The crash left him with a concussion. And he just went in front of me, cut me off, and to avoid the collision, I had to do a maneuver and uh, put the bike down in order not to strike the vehicle. Garcia was pulling another driver over at the time. Police say the driver of the truck who hit Garcia ran a red light. It took Garcia four months to recover. Change everything because uh, you can just see your life go in in the blink of an eye. While Officer Garcia was not at fault in his accidents, there have been many accidents where the officers were at fault. Which is why the main message of the training is focus. Police officers play like they practice. And if we do not have a good training foundation to where everything that they do becomes second nature, we're just asking for problems. Gary Parker, today's training instructor, is a former DPS trooper from Austin. He says seeing officers die because of incidents that could have been prevented is why he trains to prevent them. We lost three police officers back to back to back in less than five months. Matter and I took that as my personal failure and I have done everything I can to keep that from happening again. He's teaching officers to slow down during emergencies and how to be mindful about where they pull people over. While the training he says may seem simple. This is not defensive driving. This is using your head to be able to accomplish a job that you signed up for. And to be able to do that, you have to pay attention. You but it's not just on the officers to make the road safer. Parker says many of the accidents are because other drivers are just not paying attention. When you see a police car and you see the lights on, they're not going to, to lunch. They're really not. They're trying to get somewhere because somebody needs help. Somebody has called and needed help. The best thing that you can do is follow the law. Move to the right, pull over, stop, and stay there and wait just a minute because there may be more than one car coming up the road. As for Garcia, he says this training made him remember all the responsibility that comes with the job. It's our safety right on the line and then the safety of the driver we're stopping to because we're making them stop at a certain point. So from there on, it's our safety and their safety that we have in our hands. Now that training wrapped up today and there were six departments across the valley that participated. I'm live in Mission, Deontay Mirney, Channel 5 News at 6.